from Trish. Um, I had to do my big fortnightly shopping today and I thought, because I've seen a few other videos around the place, I um, thought you might be interested to see what a shop looks like for me, to see what um, people who are maintaining an 80 plus kilo weight loss um, looks like for them. So, um, I'll just go to, now I will say, I don't usually spend this much money. I, you know, you know you have those fortnights where you just, you run out of everything, all the expensive stuff, you know, like the olive oil and, and everything. It's one of those fortnights for me. So, you're not going to see any meat here, you're not going to see any real meals. That's because, because I had to stock up on everything else, um, I've decided to do that and just live on what I've got in the freezer for the next fortnight and I'm... I'm not going to start. There's plenty in there. There's chow mein, casseroles, soups, burgers, everything. So I'm, I'm still going to be eating well. Now I spent $149, um, but that included my vitamins. I spent $22, $22 of that was on vitamins. That's my um, my Aldi brand Barocas. Um, otherwise they're, they're $10 in the supermarket or price line or whatever. These cost $5. So cheap. Can't really justify buying anywhere else. And that's my iron tablet. Um, that'll last me about five or six weeks. Um, they're $17 as well. I know you can get much cheaper iron supplements, but my body is really sensitive to the side effects. Uh, that is, uh, that just reminds me, I forgot to buy laxatives as well. So um, that'll be another five or six dollars because I can buy cheap laxatives at least. So yeah, $22 of that 149 was just vitamins. These ones I've got to buy every fortnight. These ones every five or six weeks. Now, let's start with coffee. <laughs> That's not a surprise. If you've watched any of my other videos, you expected that. I, I'm not going to lie, I would normally buy more of these. I'd normally buy two, maybe um, three, maybe in a fortnight. But I tend to look out for them when they're on sale and buy them then. These were only on a little bit sale, so I only got one. But I will be looking out for more. Um, I buy these from the health section in the supermarket because they're just, they, if you look at the ingredients, where did I say it? Ingredients, organic brown rice 90%, organic quinoa 10%, that's the only two ingredients. They're, they're really good, I just put a little bit of tahini on them and some currants or whatever, they're, they're great. My daughter put me on to those. Um, Diabetes, they're a staple because you can just you can put stuff on them or whatever and um, I would normally, these are just your standard ones, I'd normally get the really, really grainy ones because they're much better for me, they're much yummier, but I've got a few broken teeth at the moment, so these are all I can manage. My bag of homegrown prunes that I will, um, I'll boil up, I'll stew them, and they're either have them for breakfast with some yogurt and stuff, or I have them, if I'm still hungry after dinner, about 8 or 9 o'clock, I'll have them with a bit of yogurt and some bran and protein powder. It's so like four, five dollars for a bag of those, and it does me for more than a fortnight's eating. And I've got a couple of little tubs of um, mangoes, just in um, juice. There's no sugar or anything in these. I know this seems like a really um, non-economical way to buy it, uh, but I've got these this fortnight because they were on sale, and it actually worked out cheaper than buying a big tin. So that's those. Cinnamon. Again, if you've looked at any of my recipes, you, you might be surprised by me buying a great big jar of cinnamon because I eat it in just about everything. This, this had better be good because this costs six dollars fifty. Um, in case you can't read it from there, it's virgin coconut oil. Um, I just I saw a recipe, I don't know, I can't remember one of the groups or something for um, strawberry coconut protein balls or something, and it called for virgin coconut oil, so I'm going to give it a go, and no, that better be good, this, this better be good. Um, just a couple of little tunas, they do have a tiny little bit of sugar in them, but it's not much, in each tin it's like 2.7 grams of sugars, so they're just little John West oven dried tomato and basil, and they're just good for, if, if I just really can't be bothered and I just chuck them together with a bit of salad and, or, you know, put them on some, the, the rye beaters with a bit of, you know, spinach or whatever. They're just full and I can't be bothered. That's a staple. I still can't find the Chobani like full fat yogurt and I, that's that's what I want. 
So for now it'll be the, what is it? Something not very much fat in it, but it's well, lots of protein. Um, another staple at my house is uh, the Light Smooth Ricotta. I was right, those were on sale today, so was this. I've been going through a lot of ricotta because I put it in um, just about everything. What have I been putting it in? Oh, I've been having it with fruit. fruit. I've been having it with my prunes a little bit sometimes. It's, it's so yummy and it's so high in protein. It's so good for you. Um, I've got some of the, the light filling because I'm going to make some cloud bread and it's just nice on the cloud bread as well with, um, with a burger, a bit of spinach, avocado. Oh, I did bring it like that. That's right. I thought I forgot some of the time. Again, not a surprise, butter. Uh, one of my little vices. What a cheapo balsamic vinegar. That's just I just put that with um, olive oil um, to make my own salad dressings when I have salads, and I'm going to be making um, caramelised onions, so I need this as well. So I've run out of everything, like all the all the staples stuff. Two dozen eggs. Um, I do I do go through a lot of eggs. I have an egg or two most days. My daughter comes on the weekend, she likes eggs, so I'm going to be making cloud bread, I'm going to be making banana pancakes, and so yeah. and if I don't get through them, it's not like they're going to go waste. My diet right cordial, because that just, that gets the water down much easier. Massive bottle of extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, another staple that I ran out of. Eight bucks, that, 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 all that adds up really quickly. Yeah, a delicious bit. Right, that's all broccoli and spinach. I go through a bit of spinach because I um I like it with my eggs and I just I just love it with everything. I use it instead of bread. Everything I used to have with bread before, I now have with spinach. That's bread capsicum. That's another staple. Um, I use. Red capsicum a lot, I fry it up with onions and uh, put it in salads, I love red capsicum, I don't eat red capsicum, I don't love the taste of it. And that's my little piece of ginger that I've quite really developed a, a taste for fresh ginger lately. I used to buy the, you know, the jar mint ginger, but that's, that's really good. Uh, that's three avocados, I eat quite a bit of avocado as well, plus um, my sister sent me a recipe for this Oh no, it's like a pudding, I guess, with um, avocado, banana, strawberries, and something else. Probably something that I've forgotten to buy, but yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be, um, that'll be delicious, actually. Bag of mushrooms, another staple. I love putting um, mushrooms in salads, and when I have my um, my turkey meatloaf or my turkey burgers, if I have them with veggies, I make up a, um, a pepper gravy with um, tons of onions and mushrooms. I'm going to eat that now. There's an orange and two lemons. That's for my prunes that I'm going to stew up. Plus I needed some lemon juice. Oh, that's what I needed. Lemon juice for that strawberry pudding stuff. And I bought lots, lots, lots of bananas today. Because they were really cheap. They were like $2 a kilo. When I say stuff cheap, I stock up now. There's no way I'll get through all those bananas, but what I'll do, I'll let them ripen up. I'll eat what I can over the next fortnight, and I'll let them ripen up, and then I'll put them in the freezer, and they'll be great for smoothies. Another fruit that was cheap this week is strawberries. A dollar a pint. So, oh God, I wish you could smell these. So, um. One part of those will go into cheese seed puddings, and another part will go into um, that pudding thing I told you about. Plus, I'll probably just put a punnet in the fridge to chop up and have with mango and banana with you know, the cheese seed pudding and the other pudding. And um, I'll chop up another punnet and put them in the freezer for smoothies. If you've been paying attention, this won't surprise you either. Cauliflowers at the moment are only two dollars each, and I've developed a real obsession. That's three cauliflowers. I've developed such a serious obsession with cauliflowers at the moment. So I've bought stuff to make more cauliflower-based pizza. 
and I will probably, in all honesty, just eat cauliflower every day, like the, the mash, cauliflower mash, I'll eat that every day until I just can't look at it anymore. Um, I like onions too, this is my big bag of onions, so I've got two bucks, really cheap. Um, so I'll probably use half of those to make caramelised onions for my cauliflower mash, and the rest, I, I can eat one or two onions every day. It's Sometimes I just stand in the cupboard and I just look at them and I just want to grab them and peel them and eat them like an apple. Another staple, parmesan cheese. That bag, that, that bag will last me for weeks and weeks and weeks. Half the time I end up throwing the last little bit out because it's gone mouldy. Now this is for my uh, cauliflower based pizza that I'm going to make. I put it, just get a little tub of um, the 97% fat free sun dried tomatoes. And I get some olives, they won't all go on the pizza. Some of those I'll just stand at the fridge and eat because olives are so delicious. Um, and I drive them absolutely insane in the deli because I go in and I go, can I have 50 grams of olives and 50 grams of sun dried tomatoes and 50 grams of pepperoni? But I hate them. Um, Feta cheese, because I really like feta cheese. It goes in my cauliflower mash and it goes in salads, it goes with avocado and spinach. With, with, with I love feta. Um, well, I know what I was, and I, actually, I do know what I was doing. I was looking at the, um, the calories on all the little signs and I picked the one that had the least calories. Apparently, the one with the least calories is the most expensive. This tiny little, not even 200 gram block of feta cost me almost six dollars. It better be good. Oh, it had better be good. Plus, I've got some bacon because I'll have bacon with my um, my cauliflower, and I like a little bit of bacon sometimes with my scrambled eggs. My daughter's here for the weekend; she likes bacon. So that's it, I think. That's it. That's that's my shop this fortnight. Now um, you'll notice I didn't buy any meat other than the bacon. Um, and as I said, that's because I've got a freezer full of dinners. I didn't need to buy any meat. This is the great thing about having big cooking days. You can afford to, every now and then, you, you don't have to buy meat because you've already cooked everything. It's already all there. Um, there's no milk because I don't buy regular milk. I only buy oat milk and coconut milk. And I buy them when they're on sale. And they were on sale a few weeks ago. So my fridge is full of more coconut and oat milk than I can get through in the next fortnight. So I didn't need to buy any of that. You'll also notice there's no uh, bread because I, I just don't buy bread. Um, I just I just I, I eat bread when I go out. It's a special treat. Um, you'll also notice there's no um, there's no. I mean, obviously you know like that's packaged and you know you olive oil and all that comes in a bottle and, and all that sort of thing. But for the most part, I don't buy prepackaged foods. Um, I very rarely buy canned veggies. Um, I'm only buying the, um, you know, the, the prepackaged mango, and it's only mango. Mango, I think, you like pineapple juice or something. I'm only buying that because it's just, you know, mangoes aren't really in season at the moment. Um, so yeah, I don't buy muesli bars. I don't buy cereals other than um, just a bag of home brand rolled oats and a box of um, flour bricks when I run out. Um, yeah, so if you like, my next shopping in two weeks' time will probably look quite different to this um, because I won't have to, you know, stock up on all the olive oil and the balsamic and the onions and, and everything that I just ran out of all at once. And, um, and, you know, in a fortnight's time I'll have different food obsessions. This is what happens, I, you know, one, two, three cauliflowers. I, I go on food benders, like I will eat cauliflower mash every day until these cauliflowers run out. And then one day, I'll look at a cauliflower and I'll just go, no, no, I, I can't eat that anymore. That's, that, that love affair is over. Um, so yeah, unless, unless I'm still really loving the cauliflower mesh and they haven't gone up to you know, like $8 each, then you'll still see a swag of um, cauliflowers here. Um, but I think, yeah, that's it. And I don't, normally I would say that, um, over the next fortnight, I would have to top up a little bit, but I don't think I'll need to because I've got tons of yogurt, tons of ricotta, I've got enough fruit and veggies, and 
Yeah, I don't think, unless I've forgotten something, I don't think I'm going to need to, to actually top up because I've got three avocados. I'll use one when I make the pudding and the other two are really, 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 really unripe. Um, so they're not going to get used for probably at least four or five days anyway. And I only have like a quarter or a third of an avocado at a time. Oh yeah, I'll have to buy coffee. If I see coffee for $4 or $4.50, I'll buy more coffee. But that, I think that'll be it. And I'll probably eat out a couple of times. Um, yeah. Oh, and what I should also say is, I live alone. This is just all for me. And, well, you know, I'll share with my daughter on the weekends. Um, but yeah, so this is all for me. Um, so this is how you eat well. And it don't, as, as I said, I don't normally spend this much. I would normally, you know, as I said, including the vitamins today, I spent about 150. I would normally spend under 100. But I really had to stock up. So that's it.